So this is how to change the oil filter in this Toyota Hyundai 2014 version. So the volume of the oil which is going to be consumed here um, is about 5 liter. And uh, today we are going to use this oil which is Atlanta Neoretic Ultra 5W40 API SP. And um, here we have this oil filter, which is oil filter number one. And my fellow mechanic here is going to assist in each, in each and everything. So in the application, on the end of the of this top cover, there is application of this rubber seal, whereby the rubber seal is going to prevent any kind of leakage from the back, which is not like other Toyota cars. So. This one comes equipped with the seal directly. And the oil filter's location is just going to be down there. But by the time before doing the service, the mechanic has to loosen this top cover to make sure there is good breathing. And there is totally drainage of the oil near the oil pan down there. So other filters, they doesn't look the same as this one, but this one is kind of unique. And it has some instruction on the top, how to loosen it, and how to make them to tight, or to make them loose. It will take some time for the oil to drain, and once the oil is well drained, this oil filter is going to be fitted down there so that everything will be nice and clean. By the time we are doing the oil filter, there is oil, but also there is air, air cleaner check if the air cleaner is clean and if it's good. The air cleaner looks clean and no need of change. So this is how it works. When you're driving your car, as long as the air cleaner is good, there is good performance of the engine, but also there is good mileage. But once the air cleaner is dead, you will find that there are some pop, there are some moment the car will be lacking the power. But with this air cleaner, everything is going to be nice. After some time of oil drainage, my fellow mechanic down here is going to replace or is going to fit back the the oil filter i'm not so sure if you can see clearly but he's holding the oil the, the, the filter down there trying to fit it and this is done after completely drainage of the oil which has been used in, in the car. And every time, every time when you take your, your car to the mechanic, or either you are doing it by yourself DIY, make sure you totally drain the oil in the oil pan of your car, and make sure you, you by the time when you, when you are placing the, the cover for the oil pan, make sure it stays very well tightened so that there will be no leakage at the oil pan. With the assistance from, from, from a mechanic, they are going to prepare here the oil which is going to be used.
let me try to see if I can get a look at it so that you guys can know what is being done. It's kind of hard to see down here, but uh, it's not easy to see here because the car is not elevated or it's not lifted up. But uh, for the mechanics position, it was quite easy for him to have access at the oil filter location. And now, he has the oil here. With the high precision, there is addition of the oil. And the oil which would be added in this car will be equivalent to 4 liters. If you remember back then I talked about the number of the oil. So this oil is 5W40, is which is so environmentally friendly to be used in this East Africa zone. And those areas whereby there is no such cold areas. And for the recommendation, it is highly recommended to use this oil for about 3,000 kilometers up to 5,000 kilometers. But make sure you change the oil in time so that there will be no wear and tear of moving parts in the engine oil inside. After 4 liters of the oil, there is addition of approximately 1 liter more. And for your information, this, this type of oil is synthetic, is synthetic oil. I'm not so sure if you can clearly see here. Yes, this is um, full of synthetic motor oil with the premium quality. So with this type of oil, it's going to, to provide high engine performance and the uh, engine protection as well because it is synthetic which means that it's not made from from materials which will damage the the parts of the engine so with the oil being changed and the oil filter changed air, air cleaner checked other parts of the vehicle checked as well fuses all of the fuses if you see on the back here, all of the fuses are doing, uh, like we have checked all the fuses, no, no fuse with fault. And in this car, there are, are, are two parts, well, there are two locations of the fuses. There is this left side with relay fuses, but also we have other parts of the, of, of the right. Whereby there is also some engine protection. Apart from there, I tried to check about the air cleaner system. The air cleaner system is very okay. And um, on the battery management system, I have this top cover, whereby this covers the negative terminal, and this is a negative. The negative, if it's okay, it's okay. Even if it's okay to be open, but the positive, it has to be covered for maximum safety. So, from this moment, um, that's how to change the oil in your car, or especially in this top head here, 2014 version. Try to inspect some of the things here to make sure everything is okay. They transfer very smooth. So, after changing the oil, it is highly recommended to make sure you run the car for few seconds up to about one minute or one minute or one and a half minutes the aim of doing that is to make sure the oil down there in the oil pan is being sucked in up to the to the top part of the what to the top part of the engine and if we have recognized there is a change in the revving of the engine when the car was being started in, there was a high revving but now the revving has gone low because the oil is well lubricated in. And the, there is supply of the oil in the 
engine parts so that's for today's guys on the engine part on the oil change on this 2014 Toyota Harrier I hope to see you guys on the next one ciao